I already have a basic Nigerian buns recipe on my channel, but this is so different. It's melt in your mouth kind of Nigerian buns, and I thought I would share it with you. So I have about 700 ml of flour in this cup. Now I am going to just sieve all of that flour. 700 ml of flour is about three cups of flour with some little extra on top. So now I'm going to just sieve all of that flour in a bowl. I am going to mix my dry ingredients together next I am going to incorporate my sugar I always go gentle on my sugar you can use more if you choose to to that I added about one teaspoon of baking powder and then I added one teaspoon of salt now I just added some extra baking powder too because I'm using self raising flour. So next I am going to add about a teaspoon of nutmeg and then I am going to mix all of that together and set aside. Next, I'm going to mix all my wet ingredients together and I'm using about five eggs for this. Ideally, in Nigerian buns, one cup of flour, should you should use one egg for it. But we, remember we said we want that melt in your mouth kind of buns. So I'm using about five eggs. I'm going to mix all of that together. Next, I'm going to pour in one pig milk. I like using pig milk for my burnt recipe because it has this unique taste. It, it adds the, to the taste of my buns. Next, I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence and I'm going to mix all of that together. Now, I have my melted butter. You try to use the original um, unsalted butter for this because we've already added salt into this so I mix all of that together and I'm still going to add some vegetable oil to this so that was a little bit of water to loosen up the wet ingredients a bit so you keep alternating till you get the right consistency now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients together we're going to infuse them this is Jerica's infusion by the way if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by and watching to this point keep watching to the end I'm sure you will enjoy it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video so now I'm going to just dig a hole in the middle and I've been pouring my mixture one at a time you don't want to pour everything at once in case it gets too watery now it's not good to add flour after mixing everything because it will make any pastry or making go bland so you have to really gauge the mixture now we mix that thoroughly because this until everything is well incorporated because we want a certain consistency and this is the consistency that we want but as I'm mixing this my oil is already on fire and it's very hot we do not want to waste time in the kitchen so now I'm going to just Put my hand in water so that it won't get sticky and I'm going to scoop some of the dough and I will keep dropping it one after the other in the oil and then we're just going to fry now when frying this uh, Nigerian buns because of the quantity of eggs in it you're going to notice that the oil would at some point especially when you're frying the second batch it will begin to go up it will begin to bubble so all you need to do is use your um, spoon to be stirring it occasionally on top and everything will balance out now look how beautiful our burns are looking Oop, i just dug into one and it was so so delicious give this recipe a try let me know how it goes